Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to respond with different messages. So as you can see here, if I say hi, the, the, the chatbot is gonna say hi. If I say welcome, the chatbot is gonna say welcome as well. And instead of doing that, we want the chatbot to uh, respond with other messages, with messages that are meaningful. So what I'm gonna do is that I am going to check what type of message the user has sent me. So here in the chatbot response, I'm gonna use if statement. I'm gonna say if, and then I'm gonna say user message. So if the user message, for example, is equal to hi, then I can say here, I can first create here, I'm gonna create a variable called chatbot message, which is gonna be initially nothing, and then here I'm gonna ch say chatbot, chatbot message. And then it's gonna be, let's say, hello, for example. And now I'm gonna send the chatbot uh, message, instead of sending the same exact message. Now if I go back and refresh, and if I say hi and send, the chatbot is gonna say hello. So now the chatbot is gonna send another message. It's not, the chatbot is not gonna respond with the same exact message, which is awesome. But of course, this is not useful all the time because the user might say something else. For example, the user might say welcome or in anything, it doesn't matter. If the user sends some, something else, this is not gonna work and the chatbot is, is, is just gonna respond with nothing. So we need to have a kind of an array that co contains the possible uh, questions or or phrases that the user might send us, and we we need to check all of them. And whenever whenever there's a match, we need to respond accordingly. Let me explain what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create an array that contains phrases that that uh, that the user might ask us or the user might say, and we will have our responses in advance and whenever the user uses one of these or part of these phrases then we will respond with one of these messages so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create this array that's going to contain all of these um, uh, all of these messages so at the top here at the top of my script i need to say var and then array of possible messages and this array is going to contain the following this array is going to contain objects where each single object is going to have two uh, is going to have two uh, uh, two keys the first key is the message and the and the value and the, and the second key is the response so the response so the the key the key represents the key, the key, the message represents the, the, the question or the statement that the user might say. So the user, for example, might say hi. And the possible answer uh, can be hello. So if the, user say, if the user says hi, we can say hello. If the user, let me add here comma and then another object, message. And then if the user says, for example, how are you? So if the user says, how are you? We can respond with something such as, I'm gonna say response, response. And the response can be, I'm fine, I'm good, whatever you want to say, and so on and so forth. So we need to have as many, uh, as many um, uh, questions or statements and responses as possible. And these responses, it's very important to think of responses th or, or uh, statements that the user is um, most likely going to, uh, to, to ask you or, or, or use in your application. So you, you cannot just hear, type any question. You need to know the, 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 pur the purpose of your chatbot and, and add statements and questions according to that. So for example, the, if that is a, ch a, gen a general, general chatbot, you can hear add, just add very general uh, questions and statements. For example, for example, what is your name? If that is a uh, general uh, chatbot. So here I'm going to say, I am a chatbot.
So now we have this array of possible questions and answers or statements and answers for now.